Hey there guys, how you doing? I'm Yalik, and before we go anywhere else, I'm going to draw your attention to this. Uh, this would be my middle account of my three. I've got the max, I have this one, and I have one that just hit level 47 and just hit HQ19. As a matter of fact, finished the upgrade overnight, so I logged into that account 20 minutes ago, and I got introduced to critters on that account because I've just unlocked them at HQ19. So that'll be a fun thing for me to have there. But, so I have the two lower level accounts and both of them have a resource reward. This one you can see is at 46, I think max is 50. I probably should have looked that up, but anyway, this is a pretty decent one. I think that lower account has a slightly, slightly lower resource reward, but uh, still, I think it's over 40%, might be 40% actually. Obviously on my max account, I don't need resources anymore, so I don't have one. Uh, if you don't have a max account, if you are still in the process of upgrading, I would heavily recommend having one of these because it hugely boosts your reward income, especially if you are an offensive-minded player. You, It's the easiest thing in the world to get upgrades. You let this sit for a couple of days and you just wait, do your daily events, uh, destroy bases on your, you know, NPC bases on your map, and you let your map end up looking like this with a bunch of player bases all over it. And what I like to do is I scout people. There's one over there that I've missed. We'll go scout him. I'm not scouting for uh, an attack strategy, I'm scouting for resources. And these guys, uh, in particular, I'm looking at gold right now because I just got HQ21 on this account and I also got, over the crab weekend, I got Armory21. That means I have a uh, heavy Zooka and warrior upgrades waiting for me and that's awesome because I love those troops. So I'm going to go out instantly and make them better. So this guy is 200,000 gold, which of course with, and I have my resource reward. Uh, this guy's 300,000 gold and so on and so on and so on. This guy, it's pretty crappy. I'm probably gonna try to get rid of him this morning and hopefully roll somebody better. So this is what your map should look like, honestly, if you are trying to do upgrades. Now let's see what this fella has. Hopefully it's good. This name's familiar. If I had this guy recently, I wanna say I have. Anyway, that's a bunch of gold. And you'll notice, so over here, that's uh, 200,000 gold base reward and the extra reward is almost as much. That's almost 100%. And I'll show you why. So really what this video is about. And money, thank you. What this video is about is that I've seen a bunch of people complaining about the new tribes which came out last night. I do not see a problem here. I don't care about these two, which is why those tribes are not even upgraded. Obviously, I have upgraded all the rest of the tribes, which are economy and offense. Okay, I can see how you might not get excited about rifleman damage. Personally, I do. If you watch any of my videos, you know I use a lot of RCZM. Not on this account and not on the lower account. Because RCZM, you have to upgrade a lot of different troop types. So that takes a while to be useful. At the max level, I rely on it heavily. I'm using it anyway. You're going to throw in 60% rifleman damage, which is what it maxes out as. I'm going to use that because it's certainly not hurting and it's definitely helping. Rifles do a fair amount of damage anyway. So, I mean, after Zookas, a group of riflemen would be the best way to shred something in a hurry. So riflemen do a fair bit of damage anyway, and making them more powerful, I'm not going to complain. Gren health, look, I mean, I don't use them very much, and I'm not very good with them, but if you use tanks at all, you probably use Grens as well. It's certainly a good thing. It's not as good as damage or speed, but it's, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. Barrage damage, 50%. That one's fully boosted here. That's good for everybody. I don't care who you are, offense or defense. You, if you go out and try to beat anybody or anything, you're going to appreciate that that barrage damage. And at max level, that is fearsome. I was uh, one-shotting rockets last night on my main account. Just one-shotting rocket launchers with that barrage damage boost. Um, 
it did barrage barrage does 14,000 something damage anyway when it's maxed out so you add 50 percent you're doing 20,000 21,000 damage on a barrage that's good why I, I don't see a problem with that okay it's not as good as maybe 50 percent gbe well all right you're not, you're not going to get spoiled every single tribe cycle but this this is just a gem and again, this is good for everybody in the game. This is maxed out. It maxes out at plus 50% resource reward. Which is why, as I was, we were looking at that player base, I have my 46% reward on my, or masterpiece on my base. And then this guy's rewards, he's, he, well, the regular re reward would be 90, 199. And it shows up there as plus 191. I'm at 96% resource reward unboosted right now because of that tribe and if i boost later it goes up to 142 percent or something or 146 percent it's insane that is massive so when i boost it let's find, I mean, find a good one here there's a 300,000. there was one that was 330 so the, this one is 333,000 plus 320,000 and we're going to add in half that again so another 160,000 so 480 780 it's going to be like 810,000 gold when I beat this guy let me repeat that it's going to be like 810,000 gold when I beat this guy that's insane now I have a bunch of people on my map, as you can see. They're not all... Here's another one. He's going to be very, very similar. Uh, that's another one. That one's going to be maybe 850,000. I'm going to boost up later because I'm very, very excited to have the opportunity to do a Zuka upgrade. Uh, I mean, warriors are great. That will probably come next because they are my next most powerful most useful offensive troop it'll be uh heavies after that and then you know we'll move on to the things that that's where i start calculating okay well barrage artillery which one do i want to do first which one do i use more often critters don't use them every single attack so i'll probably do barrage and artillery first you know start calculating things like that but this top line right here this is my focus because i have just gotten armory 21 if you are anything but max level, if you're max level, maybe you don't care about resource reward, that tribe, but you should, because that's going to make your life easier. You're going to have more gold, so you won't be running out. I do have problems with gold when I go hopping. Even if you don't hop, you'll still have more gold. Never a problem, so you can play more. You can attack more. You don't have to worry as much. You will have more... Mm, are we waiting for any... No. Um, you'll have more uh, resources in general, so you can put them back into your raw, raw crystal mine and replenish that. So that next tribe cycle comes around and you can be sitting pretty. And maybe we will have <laughs> tribes that you get really excited about. If you're not excited about these, I am. But, okay, if you don't like these, fine. Boost up the resource reward replenish your raw crystals and go out there banking you know two weeks from now hoping that whatever you get maybe you'll get tank damage or whatever it is that you want you'll you get a boost for that tribe and then you get to go have two weeks of crazy fun i i don't see how you can really go wrong here but a lot of people are complaining about these i think it's fantastic i am totally on board with these and not every tribe cycle has to be way overpowered you know what i mean it, it makes it stupidly easy i mean just so many examples uh, the warrior damage and zuka 50 percent damage and these are insanely gbe plus 50 percent great for the crab sure but insanely overpowered tribes I haven't done dr t do my dr t later too when i when i'm boosted up when my resource reward is boosted so we'll get a double on all those resource rewards that's six million six point six million gold uh, i can have that in probably a half an hour and i'm not trying to brag or anything i haven't touched my resource boat in a couple of days did have to dig into it i think for armory 21 
Uh, my daily reward, I'll leave that. So that's 420,000. I have an op reward here. I, I'm, I'm not kidding. This is probably going to be a half an hour and I'll have that upgrade. I, I can't even. Do not complain about these stripes, please. It's good for everybody if you're not seeing it. I can explain it more slowly. <laughs> That's about all I can do. <laughs> Be grateful for what you have. It's 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 something, and uh, it's not really. It, I should. It's not a silver linings thing at all. I'm not trying to upsell on something that's bad. No, this is actually good. And if you don't see it yet, I do hope you will. Anyway, thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave a comment. You can argue with me all day, but I'll tell you in advance you're wrong. And that's all I've got for you. Have a great day.